So now that you've gone ahead and populated your backlog, you can begin to do the work of preparing for your first sprint. Ideally, your team will do some type of a grooming or reconciliation process uh, to refine your backlog and to do some estimates of the work prior to actually going and beginning your sprinting. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go each to each one of the ones at the top of the backlog and we're going to assign a set of story points to this. Now you would typically do this by engaging your teams and coming up with a general approach to how much effort, how much time, how much degree of difficulty you might see in order to be able to deliver on certain parts of a particular story and then using a mechanism that the team will determine based on your team's own benchmarks of what is easy and what is less easy to be able to ascertain how many points of work you think that the team can will take to do each particular piece of work and then ultimately as you start figuring out overall what your team can do in a particular sprint you'll start to work out you know, how many points of work the team can do overall in, our, in terms of actually pulling this up. So I'm going ahead and establishing uh, a set of points for each of the stories in our backlog here and the, relative to the level of effort involved and the number of activities I have to do and places I have to go and things I have to get. Some of these are easier than other things and maybe I benchmark something that's three points is pretty straightforward. You know, stuff that's smaller than that may be really easy, just kind of grab and go. Something that's more than that, maybe I have to go to the store, for example, to buy food for the food for the weekend, things like that. So what you can see I've just done is I've populated points for each of the stories. And you'll notice here in our backlog that it's allocated some number of points to each of the stories in the backlog overall. Now we're going to go ahead and prepare our first sprint. So in our example, maybe we're not going to take the full hike yet, but maybe we're going to go out and scope out the delivery site, check for mileage, make sure that we can actually get all of our pieces in place, and maybe we'll do a dry run before we do our real sprint. So I'm going to go ahead and create our sprint now. And you'll notice here that it adds this sprint window and gives it a name here at the top, which we have the ability to change if we want to. And then from there, we can start bringing in the things that we're going to need. So let's say we want to bring along our supporting tools. So I'm going to just go ahead and drag that up into the sprint plan. Let's say further that I want to be able to uh, bring you know clothing that I'm going to need for that thing so I'll bring that up here and I'll bring uh, some meals that I'm going to want to be able to eat while I'm out on the trail okay so at this point let me go ahead and bring those meals up here all right so I've now brought up a total of 16 points of work that we're going to try to do within this particular sprint we can establish dates for the sprint and so we can say that the duration of the sprint is, let's say, two weeks long. And I'm going to go ahead and say that the start date is uh, today, which is uh, March the 27th when I'm recording this. And I'm going to say that it's a two-week sprint duration and that these are our goals. And we want to go ahead and update the sprint timelines and go ahead and start our sprint. Okay, there are three issues included. Again, we can populate this after the fact if we want to. And I'm going to go ahead and click to start my sprint. And notice what it does in the active sprint pile is that it actually then populates in each of my stories that I've selected in the sprint. And I can go and either work the stories directly or potentially decompose them into various tasks. So if I want to go, for example, look at the supporting tools, I can actually go and, and add specific subtasks to the supporting tools that I want. So what do I need to do? Well, I need to get my compass. 
and I need to get my binoculars and I need to get my maps okay and there may be other tools that I want to bring along maybe get a mess kit and these are all now going to be populated as subtasks under this broader thing called build supporting tools all right so I'm going to go ahead now and close this up and we'll go ahead and refresh this real quickly and you'll see that what it's done is it's actually taken our high-level story and it's now introduced these four subtasks into that story area as the tasks ultimately work their way toward done we can eventually you know go and and declare that the whole story is done so as we work our way through the sprint what effectively you do is you just track and manage the activities right so if I go I'm gonna go find my compass in the garage I'm gonna go grab that and bring that in um, and let's say while I'm in the garage I know the binoculars are out there too so maybe I can do those two at the same time I go out to the garage I find my compass I find my binoculars I put them in my bag I move them to the done column now maybe I need to go find my mess kit that's someplace else so I'm gonna go start working on that go look up where the mess kit is I get the mess kit maybe I'm missing a spoon and so maybe I want to add an additional task here now right that's going to actually uh, be go buy a replacement spoon because I didn't know I was going to need to do that task at the beginning so I can go ahead and add that task to my pile go and update my my steps here let me go back just a second update my sprint you can just re, you can just hit F5 or retoggle this if you want to refresh the screen like this and you can see now that it's added an additional subtask for us so I go to the store and I'm gonna go ahead and buy a replacement spoon I buy the spoon I move the spoon to finished I then have all the pieces I need for my mess kit so my mess kit is done now and then maybe last I'm gonna go and get the maps that we need so I go out to say the National Park Service website retrieve the maps that I want uh, track and manage all that print all of those off and I'm gonna go ahead and complete that and notice now that we've completed all the relevant tasks we have the ability to update the parent story to say that that story is now completed I now have all of my supporting tools I need because I have moved all of this work to done I can continue to progress with my other tasks as we work our way through our sprint